नमस्कार सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम वेक्टर कैलकुलस दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ डायरेक्शनल डेरेवेटिव सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द डायरेक्शनल डेरेवेटिव ऑफ द फंक्शन फाइव इक्वल्स टू एक्स वाई प्लस वाई जेड प्लस जेड एक्स इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द वेक्टर दिस एट द पॉइंट दिस सो हाउ टू फाइंड द डायरेक्शनल डेरेवेटिव द डायरेक्शनल डेरेवेटिव इज गिवेन बाय directional derivative is given by gradient of phi because here phi is there this is the you can say derivative and direction is let's say n cap so this is the direction now gradient of phi we can find from the first Information at this point three comma one comma two, and the direction we can get from this vector, unit vector in this direction, you will get a direction. Okay. So let's first find the direction. Okay. So let's name this vector as two i a vector as two i plus three j. Plus six k. You know, unit vector in this direction is. Let's name this n cap because we have defined in the initial as n cap. So n cap is. What is uh, the formula? If I recap, so we have vector a is. magnitude of a vector and its unit vector in this direction okay so if you want to find a cap simply so magnitude of vector divided by okay so this is uh, the complete idea if you want to find the unit vector sorry i did the opposite thing it should be a vector divided by its magnitude so if i need to find n cap or a cap whatever it is so that will be vector that means 2i plus 3j plus 6k Divided by its magnitude, I hope uh, it will be like this. I hope you know how to find the magnitude of a vector under root x component square that is two square, y component square that is three square plus six square, like this. So n cap will be two i. Like Plus three j plus six k divided by thirteen and this is thirty six. So under root forty nine, which is seven. So this is nothing but one uh, by seven. I can say two i plus three j plus six k like this. Now next task is to find the gradient of phi, which will, uh, which can be obtained from here. So phi is x y plus y z plus z x. Your phi is x y plus y z plus z x. So if I find gradient of phi, that will be del by del x. J del by del y plus k del by del z and this phi. So let's uh, calculate. Uh, so this can uh, be written as i del phi by del x plus j del phi by del y. 
प्लस के डेल फाइव बाई डेल जेड so these are nothing but the partial derivative with respect to x y and z so if i find partial derivative with respect to x so y and z will be treated as constant so i will get y in the first term y is treated as constant derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so y in the second term note uh, uh, x is present so its derivative will be zero and in the third term you will get z fine now if i find del phi by del y with respect to y so in first term you will get x in second term you will get z in third term you will get zero and similarly if i find del phi by del z So from the first term you will get zero, from the second term you will get y, and from the third term you will get x. So let's put these values back. So you will get this gradient of phi is i del phi by del x can be replaced by y plus z plus j x plus z plus k y plus x. Also, they have asked us to find this at some particular point, which is three comma one comma two. So gradient at this particular point, three comma one comma two, will be just replace x y z by three one and two. So that will be uh, y plus z. So two plus one three. So three i x plus z. That means three plus two five. So five j. Y plus x that means three plus one four so four. That's it. Finally, uh, we are back to directional derivative. Let's uh, write in short dd. So directional derivative will be gradient of phi. In this case, at some particular point, three comma one comma two, and n cap. So we have found both of them. This is dot. Between them, if I miss to tell you, this there is a dot product because both of them are vectors. Now this directional derivative will be uh, we have this three i plus five j plus four k dot with. Uh, One by seven, two i, three j, six k. One by seven can be written out of this, and we can do the dot product here. Three dot. Uh, this complete vector dot product with the other one, so you'll get three uh, multiplied by two, which is six. Five multiplied by three, which is fifteen, and four multiplied by six, which is, which is twenty-four. So twenty-four plus five is twenty-nine plus ten is thirty-nine plus six is forty-five. I hope I am correct. Twenty-four plus five is twenty-nine, then thirty-nine, then forty-five by seven is what your directional derivative at some particular point. Okay. so i hope uh, this was easy for you not that difficult directional derivative is nothing but gradient of phi dot with uh, the direction which is n cap in this case the direction was given by, uh, by the direction in the direction of the vector so if we want to find uh, the direction in the direction of some vector so that is simply n cap or this one the vector divided by its magnitude okay. so we found that and next uh, gradient of phi we can easily calculate and finally using both of them the final one came out to be 45 by 7 so that's it for today uh, i have already made a playlist on vector calculus go and check that out